Weaver is a coding editor that allows you to put together websites. Sites comprise of a lot of different elements, everything from pictures to video. And it's important to understand what Dreamweaver can and can't do in terms of editing your site. You should always remember that its primary purpose is to generate and edit code. Dreamweaver has many tools for managing images on your website. You can position and resize images on your web page. In-depth editing of an image, however, is not possible and will require the use of a graphic manipulation software such as Photoshop or GIMP. It's possible to give images borders or make them hyperlinks within Dreamweaver. The same can be said of animated GIFs, but once again, Dreamweaver can't change these mini animations. However, rollover images are a different story. Dreamweaver provides a handy wizard for making image changes when you move the mouse over them. This involves adding JavaScript to your code, which Dreamweaver can generate for you. There'll be a Dreamweaver tutorial online for all these different techniques if you wish to incorporate them into your site. Flash animations can also be positioned and resized using Dreamweaver. You should be careful when resizing them though, as stretching them can affect how the animation plays out. Dreamweaver can't however manipulate the animation content. A copy of Adobe Flash will be required for that purpose. Dreamweaver also cannot be used to edit video or audio clips, but it does provide a wizard that allows you to easily embed relevant players into your page. For audio editing, you can download a copy of Audacity or SoundForge. With video editing though, you may struggle to find a decent free editor, and it might be worth considering investing in a copy of Final Cut or Vegas. Once again, a Dreamweaver tutorial can usually be found online for any of these various techniques. Dreamweaver can also be used to generate some simple PHP code. For example, you can add buttons and text fields to your page to create forms. Then, in turn, you can use one of its wizards to link up to your database. This is pretty basic PHP though. If you're looking to do something more complicated like setting up a subscription site or an e-commerce site, you'll need to code this yourself as Dreamweaver doesn't provide wizards for that sort of thing. Anything involving money should be researched carefully and gone about with care. You don't want to find yourself on the wrong side of the law due to designing your site in the wrong way. Dreamweaver's main advantage is that it provides you with an interface where you can create various elements of your site without looking at the code. The tools are there to format text, create shapes and adjust images to build up a site how you want it to look. External assets such as images, animations and embedded players can be repositioned and such but for in-depth editing you will require different software. If you're ever stuck trying to do something a bit more complicated and the tool to use isn't obvious then it's highly recommended to look up a Dreamweaver tutorial. Something like Dreamweaver Made Simple or Dreamweaver Made Simple Advanced might just help you out in that situation.